<coughs> so hello there i am zenitsu and uh, my real name is aryan and yeah as i promised you i'll be teaching you how to edit on a light motion uh, right from the start from the basics and today as this is the first video i'll be covering the basics only like how to make projects and all so if you are new here don't forget to subscribe and press that bell icon to get notified for the new tutorial video so in this video first we will know how to download a light motion and where to download and then we'll cover up uh, how to create a new project how to add clips and text and learn about some basic effects uh, then use of keyframes use of graphs and then at the end use of null layer so i'll be teaching you all these things and let's get started without wasting time so after downloading you will see an interface like this and how to create a new project just click on this plus icon and you will see many options like video resolution and video ratio etc and this frame rate more frame rate means you will get a more smooth video and less frame rate less smoother video so it is better to use 60 fps and now how to add videos and text uh, you just have to click on this plus icon to add video or text for example i click and add one of my video and i added this video and now similarly for edit text click on the plus icon and you will get to see a text option here and from here you can add any text and uh, choose any font from here there are already many inbuilt form fonts already present in allied motion you can see all fonts by clicking on view all fonts and here is the list of all fonts and you can select any fonts and also you can import fonts if you want any extra font from your side etc and then you can also increase size by clicking this button and just drag up and color you can also change its color and now i i will also show you how to add border and shadows you uh, see here there is an option to add borders and shadows just click on this and you can add strokes like this and increase the intensity of the stroke and then shadows and you can uh, customize according to your needs uh, then how to add effects you will get an effects option here just click on this and add effects and there are many effects already present in allied motion such as the uh, fade in fade out then you can also add a contrast saturation according to your needs uh, i'll show you how to add fade in and fade out just click on fade in fade out and wait let me delete this font and click on the clip and just add fade in and fade out and you will see fade in duration just in you can increase according to your needs to increase fade in duration and also similarly fade out duration and you can also add contrast and saturation and whatever you need like uh, i added vibrance and saturation if i decrease the saturation also decrease uh, it depends on your needs and all there is another option uh, move and transfer this is one of the most important feature of this and we will be using this first of all uh, let me show you what it does and first option in move and transform is used to move and transform move the pick according to your needs then second option is used for rotation third option is used for increasing and decreasing size and fourth option is used for rotating angle wise now i'll teach you how to add keyframes this option is for adding keyframes just you have to just click to add one keyframe and then add another keyframe and like here i increase the size and see when i play this video the size will increase gradually and now i will teach you how to add graphs these this option is for graphs graphs will be used to smoothen your uh, transition and all see this is a plain graph and you will see a gradual increase and there are already many inbuilt graphs so each graph has its own different properties 
it depends on the user which graph and he want to use and all now i'll teach you how to add null layer just click on this plus icon then go to the object and element <coughs> here and you will get uh, this null option just click on this and you will get a null layer and what is the work of this null layer uh, with the help of null layer we can link it with one or many clips and add transition to null layer so whatever transition are added to null layer will be reflected to the linked clips first of all i will teach you how to uh, wait how to link null layer just uh, you go uh, click on the clip and then go to this option let me show you this option and just click on this option and you will find or uh, null one or whatever null layer you have chosen and these clips will automatically be linked so see if uh, i make transition in null layer the same transaction will be uh, transition will be reflected on my clip so this null layer will also be helpful in our editing journey and that's all for today <sighs> i'll be back with new video soon so thank you for watching my video bye bye